fellow vault dwellers. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own dual bar flaming chainsaw. You cannot get plans to craft chainsaws, you can only pick them up and modify them. Your character needs to be a minimum of level 20. The first run through, I'll do it assuming you have both Fallout first and a max level makeshift warrior crafting card. Later in the video, I'll show you a way to craft a legendary dual bar chainsaw without Fallout first or the makeshift warrior crafting card. Why a dual bar flaming chainsaw? Well, take a look for yourself. There are other mods for chainsaws, but I've found this combination to be the most lethal. The easiest way to find a chainsaw is with Fallout first by logging into a private server so nobody else can grab the chainsaw before you get there. The easiest location to grab a chainsaw without enemies nearby is the metal dome. If you don't have Fallout first and need to use a public server, I'll give you two additional chainsaw locations to try. If you're on a public server and go to all three places without seeing a chainsaw, you can try server hopping. That's where you log out and log back in on a new server and keep checking the chainsaw location. While I only give you three quick areas to check, there's a link in the description that shows all the locations where chainsaws spawn. The easiest location to find a chainsaw without enemy interference is the Metal Dome. If you have Fallout first and used a private server, it should be there. Grab it and go to a weapons bench for crafting. If you've been to the Metal Dome before, that's where you do the challenges. And to find the chainsaw, all you have to do is go through it at the entrance, just go right across and come out the exit on the other side, look to the right, and you'll see it there. Just like you'll see on this video. If you're on a public server and the chainsaw is gone when you get there, the next spot I usually check is the ranger lookout. It only has a few enemies and it's easy to spot. If it isn't there, I jump over to the nearby Blood Eagle location. So here at the Ranger District office, there's a garage behind there, there's a door. You open the door, look to the right, and the chainsaw's right there. Also a can of oil. There are a couple of enemies nearby, but they're usually pretty easy to take care of. So the last spot you're going to look for a chainsaw on the public server is the Crimson Prospect. It's a little bit south of the Ranger, um, Ranger District. So it'll put you on the north side and you need to work your way around to the south side uh, where the chainsaw's at. It'll be on a set of shelves next to an abandoned bus, kind of in plain sight. Uh, there might, you, might, you can either sneak around so you don't have to deal with them or there might be a little bit of fighting. There's a couple machine gun turrets and there, people might detect you. But if you sneak, there's a good chance you can get around without being seen. And just follow the path that I'm showing right here. Once you work your way to the west, south side, you'll see that bus next to a cargo container and the chainsaws right by the bus door. You are going to need a chainsaw flamer mod. So if you don't have one of those, the next stop is Berkeley Springs Station or Watoga. Um, both places have them before you head back to your workbench. So something I do in my camps is I set up a different uh, did different card perks where each one has its own specific use whether depending on the weapon i'm carrying or whatever i'm doing when i come back to my my um, camp i have a craft mod and construction setup of cards so that automatically i get all the uh, perk cards that i need to do uh, crafting and construction so for the next part you'll need the makeshift warrior card maxed out and if you want to fix up to 200 percent the chainsaw you'll need a weapon artisan if you don't have them, don't worry, it's no problem. I'll show you how to do it without them, how to mod this weapon without them uh, in a few minutes. So first you'll go to an armor bench, you have your chainsaw, and you're going to do the standard bar, 
to a dual bar. That's what the makeshift warrior allows you to do. And if you can't, I'll show you another way to do it. So don't worry about that. You're going to use your flamer mod that you bought from the vendor. And then you're going to do a random legendary mod. And I can show you how to get legendary mods later too. But it's going to, the hard part's random. Might be good, or might be bad. Gourmand, cool, it's, it's okay. That's a reasonable uh, perk and with some others with um, endurance. So we'll keep that and I'll go ahead and sell it as is. And so now you have a, a legendary dual bar flaming chainsaw. Okay, so far we've shown how to do it with a leg already having legendary and a dual bar flaming, the makeshift warrior card and all that stuff. So here's how you do it if you don't have those. So you remember the other stations only had the chainsaw flamer mod. Um, the Welch station also has usually a uh, dual bar mod. Wow. So you can get both of those from, from this one train station if you need. Um, if it's not there and you're on a public server, just try server hopping until it shows up. If you don't have any legendary modules, here's how you get them. First you'll go to any legendary exchange at any train station and take any legendary items you have that you don't use, go to inventory, new might be blank, and just, you know, trade them in. Next you're going to go to the rusty pick. That's where you'll exchange your uh, legendary script for uh, legendary modules. So you can apply those to whatever weapon you have, in this case the chainsaw. So even without a makeshift warrior card or Fallout First or legendary cores, now you have all of those. So the next step is to go to a weapons bench and do the things I showed you at the beginning of the video to do. You'll be able to do them with these modifications that you purchased. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Country road.